engineers will often talk about liability. And they'll say, we have to follow this standard or that standard because if we don't, we're going to be held liable. The, the engineer will be held liable. They'll have their license called into question. Uh, the client they're working for, if it's a city or a county or, or a private individual, they'll be held liable for not following the standard. The, the standard rules, and if we don't follow it, we're going to get in a lot of trouble and, and it could cost us a lot of money if someone gets hit or someone dies. None of that is true. None of that is true at all. What creates liability for you is when you ignore obvious things. When you have a sidewalk that comes into a road and there's no accommodation for someone to cross. When you design things for high speeds when you really have to have low speeds to make it safe. When you show what in legal terms is a conscious indifference to others. That's where you're committing gross negligence. That's when you're creating a level of liability for yourself. You should never fail to do something or you should never adhere to a standard simply to avoid liability. You should always go out and do the best design possible to keep people safe, uh, to build things that are cost effective and create value for your community, and then to accommodate automobiles within that environment. If your engineer is talking to you first and foremost about liability, they're starting in the wrong place and they're ending in the wrong place. I'm Chuck Marone and that is my confession.